Does SpaceX Starlink throttle based on file download size? It's a good question. Let's go find out. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much once again joining me for Tea Time. Today we have a little bit of Misty Morning and Focus Combination. So good, so good, that zing. I hope you're joining me with your cup of tea, maybe a cup of coffee, hanging out, talking tech, talking photo, talking video. Today is a tech day. We're gonna be talking about SpaceX Starlink and the possibility that they are actually throttling now based on the size of the files that you are downloading and how long those files are being downloaded for. So I got a bunch of DMs and emails about this as being an issue and I really never heard of it before. And then I was reading through some Reddit posts and then also I read something over on the register and a couple of different articles. And sure damn enough, there are people that are actually complaining about this being a thing that they are throttling and they have evidence thereof kind of thing. So I wanted to read to you this article and then get your thoughts on it. I wanna know what is your experience? Have you downloaded any large files and are seeing these slowdowns? And not right away slowdowns, but after a certain period of time. Let us know down in the comment area below. That's what this channel is all about, community, right? Not just about me, the talking head. It's about community. So before we get into it, I want to say that if you haven't downloaded any of my eBooks, go check them out. They are 100% free. Go to jchristina.com forward slash books. Once again, jchristina.com forward slash books. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click this little button over here so when I go live or when a new video comes out, you'll be notified of it immediately. And if you're looking for a VPN, the nice folks over at Speedify gave us a promo code, which is J Christina. If you use that promo code over at Speedify, you're gonna get 20% off. Also, I'll put a link down below. So if you're looking for internet speeds that are faster, more reliable, or just a VPN in general, check out Speedify. Once again, you'll find that link down below. So guys, let's jump right into this article. I wanna go through it really quick. And then once again, I wanna have this conversation with you. I'll give you my commentary during this article and then probably towards the end as I always do. So the article starts out with, Starlink users in the UK claim their download speeds appear to be getting capped at about 50 megabits per second if they try to retrieve large files from the web. Some say that they are not being provided with the advertised speed for the service. A British customer of Starlink satellite broadband service complained that their speed was being limited if they were to download anything for more than 10 to 15 minutes, obviously larger files. And this is exactly what you guys have been telling me in the DMs and down below in the comments and all of my email that I've been getting flooded with in the last couple of days all about this. So is this something that's only happening in Britain or is this something that's happening here too? According to you guys, it's happening everywhere. So the article continues, quote, my speedtest.net, that's the same speed test that I use, is over 200 megabits here in rural UK, but the throughput reduces to slightly over 50 megabits when downloading larger files, even though it starts off well at 150 megabits for the first 10 minutes or so. Starlink's advertised speeds are 25 to 100 megabits for its standard fixed broadband service and 40 to 220 megabits for its premium or priority version of the service. These speeds are not guaranteed. As the company states in its service description, actual speeds may be lower than expected during times of high usage and performance varies based on location and times of day. In line with the many broadband providers, Starlink also has a fair use policy under which it reserves the right to, quote, manage the network to balance Starlink supply with user demand. This includes the right to take additional network management measures as necessary to prevent or mitigate network congestion on its services, including reducing speeds for some or all customers. So we've went over this service agreement or TOS or terms of service many times in the past. And yes, it does state this. 
The article continues, this all sounds fair enough, yet disgruntled customers on Reddit claim that bandwidth throttling happens at all times of the day and night whenever they attempt to download a large file. In other words, they believe that the speed cap experience is not related to network congestion, but kicks in automatically if the user is downloading a large file for more than 10 to 15 minutes. Very interesting. According to some of those customers, this is tantamount to mis-selling. They claim that the service should be described and sold by Starlink as a 50 megabit per second service. There is no universe in which my entire geographical area, which consists of 100,000 people, need be restricted at 4 a.m. It's an automatic hard cap that triggers regardless of network conditions, one of the Reddit customers wrote. Adding, effectively means that the speed of the network is 50 to 55 megabits and not 25 to 200 megabits advertised. It also doesn't meet the definition of the limitation on service, which states the cap is a reactionary measure to preserve network integrity during or in lieu of high network congestion. It makes sense. We asked the UK telecom regulator, Ofcom, which is basically the equivalent to the FCC or the Federal Communications Commission here in the US, what the rules are regarding broadband providers and download speeds. It told us, quote, a provider is required to explain key information about the speed of the service and its approach to managing internet traffic in your contract. It must also publish this information. For fixed networks, a broadband provider must set out in its contract a minimum, normally available, maximum, and advertised download and upload speed of its internet access service. The contract must also set out how the provider's traffic management policy could affect the quality of the internet access service and user privacy, and how any data caps, speed, or other quality of service measures could affect its internet access service. Ofcom also told us that there are net neutrality rules that broadband providers must follow. These state that a provider, quote, must not block access to, slow down, throttle, or discriminate in other ways between internet traffic on its network unless it is necessary to do so for legal, security, or emergency reasons. Another is that the, quote, provider may take reasonable measures to manage its internet traffic so that its network runs smoothly, but these measures should not be taken for longer than necessary. Your provider must be absolutely clear about the traffic management policy and practices. If the disgruntled customer on Reddit is right, it could be argued that Starlink is discriminating against traffic involving large downloads and that that it has not been absolutely clear to its subscribers about its traffic management policies. That is absolutely the case. Now, in the past, I've provided you guys with a email address. You've asked me for it and it took me a while to research this and I finally got it. It was a direct email address to Starlink, but it was a direct email address to lodge a formal complaint. So. I've placed this in the past in my JC Live shows that I do on Friday nights. But what I'm gonna do in this video, in the pinned comment, as well as in the description below, I'm going to put that email address. Once again, you can use that email address to lodge a formal complaint. In this way, Starlink will read it and hopefully we'll provide you with even better service or some type of mitigation than you would normally find going through its normal ticketing system right? So it's support ticketing system, let's call it. So hopefully you find that of value. Now, when I look at this, I see this as being a problem, but is the problem happening with everyone or is it just happening with a few people? And is there other rationale behind this happening? Is there other reasoning? Is there enough testing that has been done to notate that yes, once we hit a download for 10 to 15 minutes, it now pulls back, it throttles the service down to 50 to, as they're saying, 55 megabits. Is that true or is that false? I wanna know from you guys, 
Have you tried that? Now, this is very apparent as if you're going to be downloading, let's say, a 4K movie. 4K movies are sometimes gigabytes and gigabytes of data take sometimes 10, 15, maybe even longer to download. I know I have uploaded files to YouTube, my videos that are gigabytes in size, but upload speeds are slow. So I don't know if that is being throttled or not because it just takes a damn long time as it is. Normally I get anywhere from about nine to let's say 12, 13 megabits upload speed through Starlink. But when I use that VPN company or that Speedify software and I bond the Starlink with my T-Mobile connection, I'm actually able to get speeds up to like 30 to 36 megabits up, which is insanity, but it is the truth. So that's what I normally do. I use that Speedify when I'm going live, so I have a redundant connection, but I also use Speedify when I need to upload my videos. So I get that bonding of the T-Mobile and Starlink because Starlink is just simply too slow on the upload speeds these days. It just simply is. So my question to you is, in the comment below, let me know if you have tested this in the past, not uploading, but downloading, downloading large files and do these large files slow down once you hit 10 to 15 minutes of download. Does it or does it not? I want to hear from you. If you're in the UK, let us know. If you're in the US, anywhere in Europe, I don't care where you are, let us know down below if you're seeing any throttling, but then also your location. Location, location, location. It's very, very important so that we know where this throttling is happening. Is it isolated to the UK or is this globally throttling? Is this something that is just simply automatic based on internet traffic and if there's a lot of congestion or not? According to what they're saying on Reddit, no. Even when congestion is low at like 4 a.m. in the morning when there's no one on, it's still doing the exact same thing. So once again, let us know what your findings are down below. Anyways, guys, as I said before, I hope you found value in this video. If you want more videos just like this about Starlink, I put together a Starlink playlist. Maybe I'll put a link over here. Go check that out. There's about 150, 160 videos just on Starlink. Helpful tips, tricks, how to's, what to buy, what not to buy, why. This channel, as always say, is always about the why, not just the how. To show you how is great, but you don't learn anything. It's all about the why, right? Why is so important. This way you learn something and then later on you can do it yourself without having to refer back to the how. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Throw this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, click this little button, do all those things. And finally, head over to my website, jchristina.com, where you can find all the photography tools I've invented for you and me over the years. And hopefully there's something there that you might like. And if there is, please pick it up and support me and my family. That's it, everyone. I'm out of here for yet another vlog. Many blessings to you and your family. Stay safe, stay healthy. And we'll see you in the next one. Love you all.